Zoe Perkin, Cantrum from Gunham, absolutely. Now, so we've, we've heard all about you, okay? There's no hiding about who you are and what you are, but the most important part is, we want to find out about what you are and what makes you tick. So we know, tell us who you are and where you are ranked at the current time in what? I'm, um, well, I shoot 10 meter precision and I've okay. been shooting it since I was, um, I've been shooting since I was nine, but I only started the precision two years ago. Right, okay. And now I'm in the GB talent squad and I've been in that for like 18 months, so only. Okay, okay. And so now I'm doing like, the competitions for England and I'm eventually going to go abroad and do the competitions there. Okay. <laughs> so where you, how did you get into it? This is a question. Obviously, you're now what, 16, 16. years old? Okay, so you started at nine, so you've got five <laughs> years under your belt. You're thinking, crikey, you know, I've got a, um, I've got a daughter who's, oh my gosh, she's now she's just 17. And natural shot but she just doesn't want to really get into it which is understandable which hang on it's it's just gonna happen if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen so how did you get into it my dad runs a local gun club and okay. um, he started taking which me gun club's that um the eight warwick so i shoot the eight warwick and um i did like the small competitions rather. yeah and then i started doing the ely competition and i was the youngest ever uh, to get through to that, I got the record for the Ely at 11. I got through to that. Right, congratulations. And, <laughs> and um, since then, Martin Bessery, he's uh, noticed me and he was like, Can you shoot for Rugely? So I, sh no, I started shooting for Rugely and that got me into a position. Yeah. And then, the, because he's a coach for the GB talent squad, he was just like, He pushed me into the talent squad and then I'm now in the talent squad. <laughs> so where do you see yourself going? That's the most important part. I want to do like really big international competitions. Right. Um, because I only do the ones in the UK at the moment. Yeah. But eventually I want to do the bigger like ones which are more noticeable. Okay. Yeah. The higher profile yeah. ones. <laughs> so it's, do you want to stay in with, with shooting? What, what, I think the best thing you want to do, do you want to, do you want, do you want are you best at air gun? Best at rifle? Do you want to go full board? Do you want? To, what do you see? What do you? Are you? Are you aspiring I, to drive forward? I shoot anything and everything. I'm Good shooting. girl. <laughs> the woman after my own heart. My dad will just uh, pass me a gun. I'll shoot one. It will go off, and then I'll shoot the rest, and it'll go centre. <laughs> now we all hate you. All right. So I, I've shot, picked up a gun, and shot anything. So. Good. And what do you? Where do you? What do you find you're naturally drawn towards yourself? Personally, 10, uh, 10 meter precision. Okay. I do that the most. I do bench chest. I still do that. Yeah. But I don't do it as often. Right. I, so naturally, I do precision. <laughs> Good. Now, obviously, you're 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 a young lady, and you, you've grown up around firearms and everything. How do what do your friends feel of you? Because obviously, you're still at school. How, what do your friends think? Most of my friends are like surprised when I first tell them that I shoot and they yeah. don't believe me right. so um but I've actually got quite a few of my friends from like school or college to start shooting so yeah. I am getting like people like younger people because um most of the people at the club are older right yes so we're trying to introduce younger people into the sport Good girl, yeah so how do you think is going to be the best because obviously you 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 have your own way of talking to people and explaining about what you deserve how do you feel would be a good way of introducing some new people to come into your sport? But by having like um, EMR do um, go to university yeah. and they do a shooting day at university. So if you like, that's a good way of introducing the sport and making it fun because some of the targets that they're bringing out, they've got like shoot a tree <laughs> and shooting random yeah. things. Yeah. So it's just making the, it fun for the like younger generation to make them want to be interested in it. Fantastic. So obviously one of the things that you are, you're a sponsored shooter now, okay, yeah. which is congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Now how, what, what, because there are a lot of people who say, oh I want to get sponsored and they don't under, actually understand what's involved in that. So being a sponsored shooter, what's that, what do you actually do as a, as a sponsored in, shooter? In my uh, sponsorships, all you have to do yeah. is um, do like tag them in Instagram posts and things like that and just yeah. always 
like recommend them. But I've actually, my dad's actually built a monster truck for me. Right. So we've got a sponsored monster truck. So it's got all of the sponsors that I've got on the truck. So. Brilliant. <laughs> and so is that the monster? Where where is the monster truck now? The monster truck is outside. You mean the one which is right in the front door, which you can't it, miss as you come into the yeah. show, Target he show. He built it himself um, because he built originally he built it for. Um, like his marriage, but then yeah. he rebuilt it for me for my prom. So that. <laughs> well, I was going to say that's one I had. Most people worry about is stretched limos and yeah. turning up with tractors <laughs> and motorbikes, and you get the monster truck. Good yeah. girl. And so, um, so how was that received when you turned up for the prom? Because obviously, my my daughter just had her prom. And well, she had a boring car, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's got a picture of me shooting on the side, so yeah. it um it introduced more people to the shooting because they were like, who's Zoe? Well, if like, they weren't like for the prom. Yeah. If they're like, who's Zoe? And it's getting um, the my name out there for the sport. It's so creating it's awareness. creating yeah. awareness for what the sport is yeah. rather than just being like, no one knows about the sport. So if you, of all the things that you, what's your biggest training aid that you use to help you I, get to where you are. What would you say if you want someone said to you, if there's one piece of advice you'd give me, Zoe, because I want to learn to do this, what piece of advice would you give them? Follow through. <laughs> uh, because. And, uh, always follow through, yes. <laughs> um, if you don't follow through, your shot goes off. Yeah. Like, I noticed that because if um, I don't follow through, then. If for someone who's not a shooter, explain to them what a follow through is on so, shooting. Um, I say to myself, one, two, follow through after I shoot the shot. And then yeah. you put. The, like, so you shoot the shot and then you say one, two, follow through to yourself. Yeah. And then you put the gun down while yeah. still watching the target. So that's making sure that you're holding the gun steady in place after you've put the shot. Now, for someone who doesn't understand the reason why you follow through, is it obviously you say you've taken your shot and you say one, two, follow through, and you hold the position as much as safe it's you can. To make sure that. Um, even after you've done the shot that you're in the same position uh, because if you don't then you shoot pull the trigger and then you put the gun Snap down the shot, yeah. and then like the pellet will have moved because you've moved straight away yeah yeah or the bullet it depends on what you shoot I was going to say I think Pete, it, it's following through is a very important thing in, in all it's in, in all it's not just totally. your position because I shoot multiple disciplines yes and I use it in all of them and it's an important part isn't it I think it's a good discipline that once you've got it into your head and like yeah, I started on air guns so I was a small where I was, I was about six I picked up my first yeah. air gun and then obviously I progressed and I've tried all different types of shooting um, the, for the following through especially when you're shooting 2-2 for example so you should do a lot of um, target shooting yeah, and I'm it is <laughs> if you snatch it you're oh no and so, well, sure enough target go the bullet goes off score goes down positioning gets wasted and you think well hang on oh, I've spent hours and hours training um, so, what's your best piece of kit you have in your kit bag, which you find which you can't survive without? Probably my blinder. Right. Because if I don't have the blind, it stops all of the light going. Like because even in the like ranges, because I go to different ranges for different competitions. Yeah. You never know what the light is going to be like. Right. So with the blinder, and I've got a like um, piece which goes to stop the uh, light from going into my eye. Okay. Without that, you don't know what the light is going to be like. Is that because you're trying to create you're every create a a constant every single yeah. time? So you're trying to create everything the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, like within each shoot, because I can shoot um, without my kit mm. um, as well as like, but because I wear um, all canvas kit. But um, with my blinder, I, it makes it a lot more consistent with my scores because the light is the same. Well, and that's, you know, if there's one piece of piece of information anybody <laughs> can take away is don't forget your blinder. Yeah. <laughs> um, in that case, I just want to say a really massive thank you so much for coming and seeing us at Government TV. You know, you're a, you're a name which we'll all be watching to see. And if anybody sees a very large monster truck with written, Zoe written down, if you're here at the show, it's definitely outside. <laughs> but on behalf of Government TV, thank you so much for stopping by and coming and saying hello to us. Because what we'll do is we'll hopefully see you again next year. Come back. Tell us how you're getting on and obviously where you're going to go from there, if that's all right. Thank you. Thank you.